Hello YouTube and welcome to another TechSlaws video. It's been two days since I unboxed my Pebble Time smartwatch and yesterday Pebble released a new firmware for the Pebble Time version 3.2 or my watch is still 3.1 and 3.2 comes with some interesting points, new backlight settings, adjust intensity and timeout duration. Yes, finally! And first users are already reporting that the watch should be a little bit more brighter let's see without backlight and now with backlight this is not really bright it's okay it's still okay if it's sunny outside but a little bit more would be better and adjusting it and of course uh, adjusting the timeout setting is, 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 is really nice i'm really happy that i get this update now while i'm still trying out to play uh, how my how the pebble is working second feature is new font size setting adjust the display font size in notifications layers and other areas of the system. Yes, for my eyes this font size is okay but a little bit bigger would be for some people maybe better. Next thing, new vibration setting. Adjust the vibration strength for notification, incoming calls, alerts and on and 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 and. This is really great because now you can't do this. You got one standard vibrating setting and it's a little bit harsh. It's hard, it's heavy and it's just shaking your whole arm. The new standard setting should be a little bit smoother. Some music features for Android now it should work better with Spotify, Pandora. Uh, on my iPhone, I have no problems uh, working Spotify with a uh, with a Pebble. Some notifications, a dismiss all function, some bug fixes, uh, fun uh, some bug fixes, and that's it. So the main things are just the background and the font size of the watch. So let's do the update. Just grab your smartphone. You can do it on this Pebble watch, but uh, just get the Pebble Time app. And first thing you do while uh, it does when it starts, it's got update available and just push the update, hit the update button and we are ready to go. And we are done and we are in the main menu and now let's head up to settings and first of all is of course the brightness settings here. Let's see display and whoa there are a couple of new options here. Uh, the old ones were backlight and motion enabled, so the motion sensor. I'm not quite sure. Ambient sensor, I did not notice this one earlier. I didn't even know that the Pebble Time got an ambient sensor. But those two points are definitely new. Intensity and timeout. First of all, let's check uh, switch timeout. We got now three seconds. This is the old setting and we got a new one with five, another one with eight and we are back to three. So eight is the newest high uh, display timeout setting. And now intensity, old intensity. Oh, this is, whoa, this is definitely brighter. The new standard setting is high and I'm pretty sure we got some, some uh, different settings here. We got high, we got blinding, whoa, and blinding is even brighter. This is nice. We got uh, low. Whoa, low is really low. And we got medium. And yes, I would say medium was the old standard default settings and high is now definitely brighter and blinding. Whoa, I definitely will go with blinding just to check it out and of course check out the battery consumption. So what else do we got? We got uh, what about the notifications exactly? Let's see. We got uh, vibrating uh, vibrations. Yes, we got. Hopefully, we got new vibrating settings. Oh, where is? Did I switch the display? Let's see. Intensity, blinding. No. Background. Uh, just went off. So we, what do we get? We got notifications and we got something new. Vibrations. Vibration settings. We got now medium. Whoa! You switch, you can feel it. We got now high, we got disabled, we got low. Woo! Low is really low and smooth. We got medium, which I would say is the old, and we got high. No, uh, high is the old standard settings. So we got disabled, low, which is really low, which is really, really smooth. Medium, which is loud. And high is definitely high, high. If you, it's no close to getting electrocuted. So I will go with low. And the last option here is text size. But this is not for the whole watch, I assume, only for the notifications. We got default. We got smaller. 
no nothing changes and we got larger so this is only for the notifications this is mm, i would really have liked a, a, a larger font for the whole watch but i assume this is only only for the test text size no only is text size no there's nothing nothing is changing so this is only for the notifications so this is it and the last thing is music with, with Android, which I don't use at the moment. This is something I will use in the, on the weekend in the next couple of days. And I'm really, really happy about this update. Brightness settings, vibration settings is something really nice and two things that definitely needed changing. And I'm really ho lucky that I unboxed my uh, Pebble Time so late so that I'm now when I'm s testing the watch and I'm starting with the watch, I get these new features and really nice do the update. This is it. Thank you guys for watching and I see you in the next video. Bye.